okay, another self-care type beauty haul. Hopefully you can hear me. I feel really pale, so I put on one of the new lippies that kind of matches my dress. So, um, they had like a really good deal on the YSL things. Um, the other couponers took all the perfumes. So, I was left with a couple of beauty things that I kind of really didn't need. I was looking for an orange though. This is very much a muted orange so it's fine for like everyday spring summer wear um it's nothing too bright but it is pretty and it is the ysl final cream in 414 i threw away all my boxes so i'm not sure if it has a name but this is what it looks like I feel kind of fancy with YSL stuff, but just so you know, I did not pay full price. Um, oh, here's the other thing. No, that is not it. Where is the other thing? I also got a eyeliner that's green. Don't know where I put it right now. As I talk to you, I'm also roasting something. Then this is the foundation stick pen and warm chocolate and um it's not a perfect match because i've never been to a yso counter or store but um it does look really good over the eyes so i could use it as a base um and it blends really well like in the inner corner so i could use it like as a starting thing for makeup so it looks like it would be the right match but it is a little bit red than golden um i'm probably a shade that's in between two shades to be honest and then i got into the nyx hype whether this good or bad i'm not sure yet i will tell you that i really really like the caramel color this is one of the new ones and this is the NYX Butter Glosses. I find these things to be really thick. But anyway, the caramel color is basically a skin tone color on me. And I find it really, really pretty. And then I got the new Cinnamon Roll. At least I think it's the new one. <laughs> the BLG48. I only wore it once, I don't remember it right now, so yeah. And then the other new lippy I have is the Intense Butter Gloss, and I really don't know how to maneuver this one. I thought it was going to be more orange, it's more peach, so this is like a true coral color, and it is in Summer Fruit. I don't find coral to be a color that looks that pretty on me, really. So I'm not sure if I like should add a brown base or something to make it more palatable for my skin tone. Um, there was one that I hated. I forgot to write it down so that you'll know because we always talk about things like we're trying and we like. But I think it's important to like also mention things we don't like and why. Um, not only for sharing purposes, but to make sure you don't buy it again. Um, whether that be the same brand or the same type or the same color. But I know it was um, one of the new Maybelline numbers. I'm trying to figure out if I shared it in a vlog that I have or haven't uploaded and I'm not sure um, anyway I'll try to remember the name and list it below um, in the captions hopefully I remember um, okay so I got a couple of Target and Sephora items we'll do Target first 
Target um, had a really good deal, unfortunately passed. Um, it was one of those deals that only was like lasted two or three days. So there was 25% off beauty personal care items. So um, what was it I was supposed to pick up? My mother had wanted some home stuff, so I'm like, since there's that sale, and I had, um, okay, it was a, it was three things. Before this 25% off, there was, get $20 if you spent, I think, 100 on two trips, something like that. Um, on one of the trips... I was gonna spend a hundred anyway because I was buying food stuff and I bought a dress so that automatically came up to a hundred then the second one was um and that I did in store and then the second one I was I was like let me go ahead and buy the stuff I already have in my cart um, what that was I don't remember now so I got that $20 then I saw this 25% off sale and I had only like maybe one or two personal care things i'm like let me get um a couple of more like a few more things that i have in my save for later list um that i was kind of waiting on um and then alongside that 25 percent off there was like if you spent a hundred and that this was one of the deals that was only like I think for like two days if you spent a hundred you got twenty dollars off so basically I got um plus the red card discount so I got like a hundred dollars worth of stuff for like half off so that's why I did it this way so yes I know I already have beauty on um, body care stuff but I'm um, not gonna get it at this price anytime soon so this is something new I saw the fair is soothing body balm so hopefully this is light enough yet moisturizing enough for this season and this is also a new item the dove foaming bath salts lavender and chamomile it smells good in the packaging we'll see when i actually use it um, these I don't mind buying extras of because it's real easy to go through them um, if I actually ever take a physical bath instead of a shower but yeah you kind of need a lot to actually feel it at least I feel that way um, oh and this smells really good if you like sangria or like that sweet berry scent I would recommend getting this and it's from the Opal House. It's a room spray in wild hibiscus sangria. And I sprayed it before this video so that I can tell you what it smells like. And it was on clearance. Hopefully it's still on clearance. Uh, oh, and the last thing from Target was the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil in Lavender. Um, these three things, the three body things, I've never seen them in store, so, yeah. This I probably won't use anytime soon because, well, I can't say that, but I currently have um, the Curel body lotion out of shower, shower lotion, something like that already, but anyway you could also put this if you take a bath so i could use it that way and if you're one of those people which i see is popular now where you're pairing scents and things like that um that's a cute hobby but i don't got time for that um not in the extreme i've seen anyway if you like pairing things these two would go together in case you're curious both purple and the same scent anyway um uh, moving along to sephora first let's smell this um dior sauvage eau de parfum i don't know if this is a men's scent or what my cousins are funny 
I always love like having cousins. <sighs> I mean, two of them give me a headache, but the other two are funny as hell. Well, I should say the four I like know now, like really know, because I have other cousins that I don't really know that well. This is definitely a man scent. I would say a men's winter type of scent. I think I smell patchouli. Something like grassy. Not really anything I'd like to smell on a man. But of course there's such a thing as body chemistry. It might smell really good on somebody. But this is not my cup of tea. I just wanted to see what it smelled like. Um, right now they're not doing samples in Sephora. You know where you get like you could go in to get a perfume to try. It might change like July. But um, I missed that. So they had a promo code for a free like skincare item. I should really remember what these things are. But promo codes for Sephora change so damn often. Anyway, I picked one of their face masks because I don't think I've tried the like physical mask that you put on. I've tried like the one little thing, but this is the watermelon face mask and it is for quenching and plumping. And then this is the deodorant that I'm currently using. Um, so far so good with my skin, Kosa Sport. So um, I got another one because I think I'm about halfway through. And then I also got the fragrance free one to see if I like it better. This one is Serene Clean. It doesn't really have a strong scent at all. At all. It's just like a fresh kind of smell. And I don't know where the stick is right now, but it's almost finished. So I got the Super Glue Glow Oil Sunscreen. It is SPF 50, and this is the small one because um, I don't know. I don't go through things like this very quickly. If you're someone that's going to be out every day for summer, then maybe you get a bigger one. But we know that's not me. Um, Hollywood Flawless Filter, this looked really good online, so I just got a mini. I'm going to show you the box and the actual product. I like, I like when, oh, the box is going to get damaged. I like when things come in minis, because the temperature in here is unpredictable, and it makes things degrade faster. Well, liquid things anyway. So, um, did I say Charlotte Tilbury? And this is in 6.5 deep. It doesn't need to be your exact shade because it's more of like a glowing kind of thing. Um, sort of like the Touche Clot stick. Um, sort of like a base, I should say. A base, in case you don't know the, um, that, that I've named. Um, yeah, they call it like a filter. But it's just supposed to do like a glowy, soft focus kind of deal. And, oh, I was going to say lastly, oh wait, um, they had... 10 or 20% off fresh products and my lips have been kind of dry lately so I just got a sugar polish I can't remember if I even like this the fresh things all smell really good but I can't remember if I, I like this scrub I'm pretty sure I've tried it at some point but anyway this is just a small one 0.35 ounces and then lastly I really just was getting the deodorant so 
the deodorant and the sunscreen, all this other shit is extra. <laughs> um, Nails Incorporated Avocado Oil Nail and Lip Kit. I really like this green color, so um, the next time I get a petty, I will have them green. Um, I don't really do nail polish a lot of times. Only because my feet aren't out a lot of times. So this is like really, really pretty. It's like the perfect avocado color. And I am avocado obsessed. And then this is just a gloss. I wonder if it smells like avocado. Is that possible? I can't tell because... I was spraying the room spray and I think that this YSL lippy is scented. So let's see if I can smell it on my hand. Actually I think it is avocado scented. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway I think this will be fun. Um, it doesn't feel too greasy, it has some... Um, thickness to it so it shouldn't stick to your mask if you are still wearing your mask i am except for when i go into the gym studio by myself um but other than that i still do have it on and probably will have it on for the rest of the summer i just actually ordered one from target that is a silk one or a satin one because it's not 100 percent silk um, that has the filter in it and it should be lighter because right now I have the what is it? I have like a thick cotton one which is fine when it's cold but it's a little suffocating on those um, hotter days so I haven't been double masking but I have still been wearing a mask so that is all for right now Since this video is so long, I think that I'm not going to attach it to the rest. I'm just going to upload this. So You will see another self-care type haul, hopefully at the end of the weekend. You're either going to see a self-care haul or a weekly vlog. I'm hoping to work on the self-care one. It just involves a lot of editing. Because I kind of want to move some things around. <laughs> Nothing like fancy um, graphics wise. But it's a little complicated um, when you're doing all of it on your phone. Oh, and good news. I am getting a new laptop. Finally. After many, many years. <laughs> and um, that should be coming soon. Within the week. Actually, hopefully before the middle of next week. Depends on how shipping goes. But I'm really, really excited about it. I haven't had a new computer, um, damn, maybe seven years. I stopped using the one I currently have probably two years ago because it's like really really slow um, I am gonna keep it but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wipe it completely out and then um, buy a new battery for it and let my mother practice learning the computer on the old one um, and then put all my files on I don't know where it is right now, but I have an external hard drive that I have some files on, but I need to like take off everything at this point. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm going to leave my health IG down below because right now I can't remember it. <laughs> and um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it. And let me know what you think in the comments. Alright, bye. 
Oh, check your notifications if you do have your notification bell on. Um, like, because a lot of people aren't getting the notifications from what I see. Also, there's a lot of people watching that aren't subscribed. So if you are continually coming back, don't be afraid to subscribe. Um, I'm nice, most times. Um, so like take off the notification bell and then put it back on and hopefully it'll start working again. Bye for real this time.